Hi there, welcome to a new video. Um, we are continuing our work on the Comet Jam piece. Uh, today we're going to make some refinements to the first two panels and then ink the first four. So I spoke to the writer, I had a question or two, and he came back with some insight into the first couple of panels that I wasn't aware of in the script. So we've changed the um, we're changing the, p the pose of not Jack Gusteau to be a little bit more nervous, he's a bit more worried, he's sort of justifying this project to sort of survey the, 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 this lake bed uh, and presumably he's talking to the investors and you know, you know he's going to be a bit nervous uh, which that wasn't in the script we just, I was just read it as a um, essentially an update a presentation but this is this feels more like what have you done to justify the last three months or six months or whatever, how long years? So we change the pose, his hands are clasped together as if begging or in prayer. He's hunched over, his shoulders are up. Um, so yeah, and uh, we're just refining the details on this boat, sort of adding the, the different sort of windows and we're refining the shape and we're sorting out this crane arm. And we're going to sort of go in and ink this guy now. So I've got an 8 pixel brush which is a pretty good versatile brush at this sort of size. You get good sort of uh, mix between uh, thick and, and thin lines and I'm just inking inking this guy up. And uh, yeah, it's got a nice, nice sort of hat it's got on there. Um, I'm, I want to do lots of sort of spot blacks and, and shading in black uh, and so the colours would effectively just be flat colours uh, that saves me time at the colouring stage I just think you can get some really dynamic looking inks going on as well so we're going to set up some two point perspective uh, sorry one point perspective um, on the on the conference table and the display at the end with the topographical view of the lake and we'll just tie them the lines and we'll put the contours in there and this the contours are useful because this will help us sort of tie the first two panels together at least you know we're going to have replicate that with the ripples in the water so it's i just think it's a really cool i think it's just a really neat sort of visual metaphor we can use to sort of tie these two panels together um, Just draw the shoreline. We'll turn our inner Bob Ross, put a lot of happy trees everywhere, and then we'll, we'll hint at our, our contour lines there and uh, just make a nice shoreline over in the distance. And uh, now we are drawing what I think is one of the, fun of the more fun panels on this page uh, this barrel full of coins. Um, we get to draw some wood paneling and, um, you know draw some barrels which yeah that sounds kind of dull but actually I, I really enjoyed putting this panel together um, uh, probably probably mainly because of the wood paneling I just, I just think you can get some real nice sort of rendering going on with the wood with the with the wood paneling um, and you also you can concentrate how much detail you're putting in towards the bottom of the barrel uh, so there's more wood grain at the bottom and that gives you your sort of shading it helps round the form and here I am I'm putting big bold shadows in everywhere um, that's our second barrel our third barrel we're gonna go with slightly less detail with that one we'll just have these sort of lots of shading and we'll have some bits of the floor bed and some some like weeds yeah. I would say kelp but this is a, a lake so it's fresh water Okay, so this panel, it's a trickier panel. Um, I liked it, but we, I think we need to change what we're showing to actually better depict the uh, witches thing. So we are looking at sort of adding um, a skeleton and we're gonna have it chained to a rock uh, by a foot, by, the, by the, its foot. Um, and then the, the rock could act almost like a tombstone to, as a marker for this this person, this this person who's 
drones of which. And then you can have lots of rocks in this in the area without having to draw lots of skeletons. You're creating that sort of association between skeleton and rock, and there's lots of rocks, so there's lots of skeletons. Uh, and it's a nice, I say nice, but it's a, it's a cheap way of, of having hinting at lots and lots of um, lots and lots of skeletons or lots and lots of things by associating two things, by either rock and a skeleton. So yeah, I'm just going to ink this now, and. Once I've finished inking this, that'll be it for the session. I only have about an hour to work on, so I'm working super fast to sort of make progress on a page. Um, so, uh, yeah. Okay. In a second, when I finish this, I'll, I'll put some dark lines in the background and we'll separate them from the foreground with some erasers so I'll put points on a separate layer so again let's first up let's add some shading to the rock add some the, the rocks in the background and then a hint of the skull and then we'll get this leg in and we'll make a new layer now make it um reduce its opacity a little bit so put that in a second yeah and then we'll do our lines here this sort of hints at the work dark deep water or weeds or just the opacity and we'll just go over and just cut it back with the eraser so that we get some separation between the foreground and the background and that will I think will help add depth and add interest and it means that when we come to colour this we can just add simple shapes. But there we go like comment share subscribe all of that good good stuff and uh, join us for the next video and we'll see you then okay bye now